dig deep and focus on you. Like you are free. Just think about it. You are free. So you can go out and meet other people, right? And learn from your situation. Learn some of the good, some of the bad. All right, gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and talk about why breakups could be the greatest thing that could ever happen to you. Now, before I get to my point, gentlemen, breaking up with my ex-girlfriend a couple years back was the greatest thing that could ever happen to me. Because at that time, gentlemen, I was not ready one bit for a relationship. I was not ready. But I'm glad that I went through it and I'm blessed that she came to my life because she taught me so much about myself. That relationship taught me so much about myself. So um, for those who are going through it, I understand the pain hurts. I understand that, you know, you either ended the situation or she ended the situation and you it's hard to forgive yourself. But you must forgive yourself because, again, this is a blessing in disguise and this is your chance to really get right and get better within yourself. Now, number one reason, gentlemen, that breakups could be the greatest thing that could ever happen to you is number one, freedom. Gentlemen, you don't have to worry about somebody else's feelings. You don't have to worry about sure that somebody else is good or being selfless this is your time to be selfish this is your time to really dig deep and focus on you like you are free just think about it you are free so you can go out and meet other people right and learn from your situation learn some of the good some of the bad right and utilize that and then don't make the same mistakes you made in that in a recent relationship into your next relationship and that's the most healthiest way to go about a breakup, gentlemen. Instead of getting all mad or going crazy on social media or, you know, blocking her and doing all these crazy things, gentlemen. Number one, you are a free man. I'm not saying go out there and hoe and be a monster. No. Free man meaning this is your time to get your finances right. This is your time to get your mental health right. This is your time to just do whatever the hell you want. So don't take this breakup too deep. I understand that shit hurts man i understand but take it as a learning lesson you know just focus on the good learn from the good and if you focus on learning from the good from that relationship and lessons you learn within that relationship then moving on will be a more expedited process so gentlemen when i tell you freedom is everything gentlemen you can date whoever you want you can hang out with whoever you want however late you want but just know don't do it out of a place of pain, hanging out and going crazy. You got an answer. You don't got to worry about what's going to end or who's going to do this or what's going to happen moving forward. Gentlemen, it's over. You got your answer. It's over. Now what you going to do? You just going to cry and have a pity party and feel bad about yourself and get mad at her and hold a grudge against her? Nah. You focus on moving on. You focus on building a new skill. You focus on creating a new hobby, adding new activities to your life, hanging out with new networks. This is your time to really focus on you, just to wait for something to happen. Like, gentlemen, this is one of the most beautiful things ever, man, not having something on your neck, you know? So that's why I always tell brothers, man, you either break up or you're single. There's no in between. And I hate when I hear guys talk about, well, we're not committed, but we're still talking. We're still committed. We're still feeling this. We're still dealing with that. Gentlemen, that's toxic behavior. It's either you're with that person or you're not. Final. There should be no confusion. Because if there's a confusion, that means there's a confusion within you. So everything has to be clear and concise. We're not together. We do not need to be talking. I don't understand how people still hit up their ex and be like, oh, you know, I miss you. I'm thinking about you. You know, people that you had um, previous ties with. That is a, that's dead. There's a reason why you guys broke up. You guys should not be getting back together. There's a reason why you guys ended. Depending on the circumstance, but in most cases, most people should end the breakup and keep it pushing. One thing I'm going to tell y'all, gentlemen, like, there's no confusion in my life. <laughs> I'll tell you that for a fact. And, you know, when we ended four years ago, that was it you know there was no hey let me hit her up to see you know say this or breadcrumb or make a feel type of way no 
gentlemen once it's over it is over so gentlemen you have an answer you have the result you have a verdict now it's up to you to move on and keep it number three gentlemen this gives you a time to reassess your relationship and i'm talking about in the first point gentlemen this is a time for you to really truly reflect think about some of the good in that relationship think about some of the bad think about what caused the relationship to end those are things that you have to take in consideration now what i tell dudes all the time is what did you learn what lesson did you learn from that relationship if you're able to decipher and understand and know what you learned from that relationship it will make the healing process a lot faster you got to know what happened what did she do as a matter of fact forget what she did what did you do wrong because i'm big on accountability what did you go wrong what did you do to, to allow certain behavior to happen what did you do to allow certain things to happen now if you were not at fault in anything then you had to reassess the woman why did you pick her right not only why did you pick her but what did she do and those are things that you have to take into consideration gentlemen you have to be logical with everything when you break up with somebody you must be in a logical state of mind i understand it hurts it hurts but you got to do your absolute best to think logically and rational because a lot of times dudes when they break up with somebody they want to be petty they want to air out her business and put her nudes up or act like a child or act immature and gentlemen that's not the right way to go about it you got to end it with class i made a video about that so this is the time to reflect get better um become stronger gentlemen when four years ago when i ended my relationship i was 185 pounds like I lost a lot of weight because of the stress of that situation. Afterwards, I focused on getting my bag right. I focused on paying out my debt. Focused on getting back in the gym, you know, pumping weights. And I gained 20 pounds of muscle. So this is why I tell brothers, man, breakups is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Because I became a much stronger man, a much more wiser man. Um, I've improved in so many different areas, although I still have ways to go and I'm still improving and I still have flaws that I'm working on, but I've come a long way from that relationship. So that's why when brothers go through or they end a relationship, they tend to feel bad about themselves or put themselves down, but not realize the, the benefits of breaking up with somebody. Like I just named three major benefits, gentlemen, and learning from that situation, learning from your previous breakup and previous relationship. Then when you move on to your next relationship, you'll know you'll know what not to do and what to do and how to to appropriately um, lead and cultivate a woman. Women you watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Check out my weekly Patreon for more exclusive.